Hey everyone, happy Friday. Yes, cheers to the weekend. Welcome back to the channel. Your girl Jamada here. So today I wanted to talk about banks that help to build business credit, banks that are going to report and help to boost your business credit rating because that's what you want. You want that 80 or above credit score. You want your, your paydex score to be 80 or above or you know your experience score to be 80 or above, guys. Um, a lot of the banks, guys, they don't really look at Dun & Bradstreet, okay? Um, and the banks are the ones that you're gonna be getting those high limit credit cards from. They're the ones that are going to be giving um, giving you loans. So guys, you want your, your business credit score to be really strong and the other for that to happen, you have to make sure that um, the banks that you're partnering with, the credit cards that you're opening, they are going to be reporting to the right bureaus, okay? Now, as far as business credit is concerned, guys, just like the personal side, the business side also have um, several um, credit reporting bureaus, okay? So like the SBFE is one of them, the Small Business Financial Exchange. You have Dun & Bradstreet. Um, like I said, Dun & Bradstreet is not favorable in the bank's eyes, but they are one of the oldest and they're still there, okay? And then you have Experian. Experian is widely used. Um, it's probably number one, I would say, in my opinion, and it's widely used by um, a lot of ba banks and um, vendors. So you have Experian, you have Equifax as well, okay? Um, guys, when you start to build your business credit, if you can go ahead, and I know a lot of the gurus, they preach that you know, you can build with net 30 accounts, but you don't necessarily have to do that, guys. If you have a solid 600 credit score, you can shoot for a Chase um, business card. You can shoot for an American Express uh, business card. You can shoot for a City, Bank of America, even Wells Fargo, guys. Um, even if you don't have... Um, um, a strong credit score if your credit is not so great Wells Fargo um, offers a secure card a secure business card so you can always use that as well um, and if you have the 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 finance you have the capital you can always put you know a couple of thousand dollars down even 500 um, just so you can have um, those lines of credit reporting to the bureau it looks favorable in the bank's eyes okay the, the, that's the name of the game, guys, whether it be on the personal side or the business side, okay? They want to make sure that you are paying on time, okay? And utilization is not a big thing on the business side. Um, just FYI, you know, the way it is, you get penalized for that on um, the personal side. No, it's because you're a business. So the banks do understand that you're going to be needing and using large, substantial amount of credit. So that's why on the business side the the credit limits are high okay they're in the tens of thousands sometimes you know hundreds of thousands um depending on how um, long you've been in business and how much revenue you're making your your payment history all of that okay so guys don't sleep on any of that okay so if you um have american express i would recommend guys open a, a checking account with the american express disclaimer I'm not a financial advisor whatsoever, okay? I'm your fellow entrepreneur, your fellow businesswoman, and I'm just dropping gems, giving out information that has helped me to grow, and I want you guys to succeed. So disclaimer ends. Um, American Express, guys, they have a um, business check-in, a free business check-in. You don't have to have a minimum balance. So you can open a business check-in with them. It's good. Uh, because they want that and when you do open a business check-in with them guys they have so many um, credit products financial products for businesses okay they even own cabbage they just bought cabbage guys um, you can get a line of credit with them you can get several business credit cards um, I have the the business platinum um, which gives you access to so much it's a great travel card, okay? And American Experts reports to the Small Business Financial Exchange and Dun & Bradstreet. 
Same with Chase, guys. Chase, they compete with American Express, okay? So Chase is kind of always trying to outdo American Express. And because of that, they will go the extra mile for you, for your, for your, because they want to win you over. They want your business, right? So Chase takes it even further, guys. Chase reports to Experian. Chase reports to the Small Business Financial Exchange. Chase reports to Dun & Bradstreet and to Equifax, okay? All four bureaus, Chase reports to all of them. That's Experian, that's the SBFE, Dun & Bradstreet, and Equifax, okay? Um, Chase does have um, several business check-ins, guys, okay, um, that you can take advantage of. Um, I think they're running a special right now where when you open a business check-in and you deposit a certain amount um, and you hold it there, I think they give you $300 or something like that. Um, but I know their business check-in guys, they do charge a fee, okay? Not like their American Express, which is free. So I don't know if they've updated that as of recent, but I know their business check-in, um, there is a fee. Okay, guys, moving on. You have Capital One. Capital One reports to Dun & Bradstreet. Capital One reports to Experian, and they report to the SBFE, a.k.a. the Small Business Financial Exchange. You have City. City reports to Experian, the SBFE, Dun & Bradstreet, and Equifax. Guys, Bank of America is another bank, okay? They report to um, the SBFE. Okay, as of now, they only report to the Small Business Financial Exchange. And also with Wells Fargo, guys, they also report to the SBFE. Um, I don't bank with either of them, with Bank of America all, or Wells Fargo, whether personal or business. So I don't know. If you guys bank with them, just keep in mind, they do offer um, um, financial products for businesses as well okay and then you have pnc which is also which took over suntrust so you have pnc slash suntrust um they report to the small business financial exchange guys do not take your relationship with the banks for granted guys because that's a key role if you're like up and coming and struggling with credit your credit on the personal side but you know you're still working on it and you're trying to get um these like um, business credit cards from these banks, guys, um, build a relationship with them. That's one of the easiest way to like get your foot in the door because guess what the banks do guys for every $1 that you deposit, they can loan out hundreds of dollars. Okay. And it's legal. They can legally do that and, you know, charge someone else an interest rate and make money off of the money you're depositing. So, if you can open business check-ins account with these guys and open um, a personal, even a personal savings um, or personal check-ins with these banks, guys, go ahead and do it. Go ahead and do it by all means, okay? Um, because they, they have an internal score and they look forward to those deposits. That's how they make money. If they look forward to you opening a credit card with them. That's how they make money. Every time we swipe those cards, those merchant fees, they're charging um, they're collecting those merchants' fees. So don't take your relationship with the bank for granted, guys, okay? And you don't have to put hundreds of thousands of dollars in there. <laughs> you can deposit $25 a week, $20 a week, you know? It all helps. It all helps because they have an internal score. They're scoring you. So it all helps. Don't take it for granted, okay? So that does it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If I have been of any help to you, whether it be this video or the previous ones, please give me a thumbs up. Give this video a like, guys. Subscribe to the channel. Um, I was looking at my analytics and about 93% of the people who watch my videos are not subscribed. Guys, subscribe to the channel, okay? There's so much value here. Scratch my back, I scratch yours, okay? I need YouTube to continue to push my work out, to push these videos out. So um, when, you, when you like the video, when you comment, when you share, it definitely helps the channel and I greatly appreciate that. Um, the community that we're building here of um, entrepreneurs and business owners, 
Um, we're here to build each other up and help each other out, okay? So I don't take it for granted. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you all the best in all of your endeavors. I will see you on the next video. Bye.